Oklahoma State headed to Kansas, and the Jayhawks, a two-point home dog that has come down from three and a half down to two already. Total sits at 64 and a half over at BetUS, 3.30 p.m. Eastern time on FS1. And let's pull up the numbers here so you can see what I'm looking at. The reason it has come down is because the analytics would tell you that Kansas should be able to keep this game close, especially at home. You want to talk about some statisticians. Good gracious. Uh, some schemesters, if you will. The guys calling plays at Kansas are so good at scheming up plays, finding ways to to get guys open and into space, etc. And they have got enough talent to be able to hang around. That's it's super surprising to me. And I love what Kansas is doing, right? They're number 20 in PPA per pass on offense, even though they only throw the ball 45% of the time. Um, I, I look at, you know, what they're doing running the ball. It hasn't been great as of late. But my goodness, Oklahoma State, they can't stop the pass. They're getting worse against the run. And they got a bunch of guys beat up. And they have been. And I know that there were a bunch of Kansas State fans that jumped on here last week after I gave my my recap and reaction uh, that thought I was making excuses. I'm not making excuses. Kansas State still just whipped them. But Oklahoma State here, like I, I don't know who all is going to be on the field. I don't know who's going to show up. I don't know if Spencer Sanders is, is going to be 100%. Like, there's just a lot of questions here. And when I look at that compared to Kansas, yeah, there's obviously issues, um, but I you you look at all these different stats, and I just kind of throw them out the window because I think Oklahoma State got embarrassed last week, and I don't think that's going to happen again. I think Gundy is going to have those guys bounce back. He did mention after the press conference, uh, not after the excuse me, he did mention in the press conference after the game that he did something different in practice the week prior, and that he will never do it again. I expect Oklahoma State to bounce back. I expect them to get this win, and I think it will be by more than two points. I will take Oklahoma State to cover, even though my number says differently. Uh, Give me the pokes. Give me the pokes minus the two. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.